Hello everyone, I'm back again with another tutorial and this tutorial is really small and interesting. So uh, many of you have used Vue.js in a full-fledged version as a framework but um, you might not try uh, this simplest way of trying Vue.js, okay? Just like how you uh, you have been using uh, jQuery. So we can use Vue.js uh, in, replacement, uh, uh, in, risk, uh, in replacement of a jQuery. So let's see how we can go uh, use uh, Vue.js just like jQuery, okay? So here I have a very simple uh, HTML page and nothing, uh, nothing in it. So I have run it and now let's include um, uh, either one of these two. So this one is the production version. So I, I will add this minified production version VJS. And this is simply just linking your jQuery file. Uh, nothing big here. And then once you have added your uh, JavaScript uh, VJS, you can instantiate a view instance. This is the only difference. So here, uh, what I have to do is I have to, um, I can make a script tag here or I can simply uh, add a script tag here and then write all of my Vue.js, okay? Or can be uh, written in a different separate uh, uh, JavaScript file, okay? So this view instance will control the app. So we need to have an, we need to have a div um, with an ID of app, okay? So this is very much simple and anything we write inside this app, uh, app section of this div, inside this div app, then this widgets will be able to control it okay so let's go ahead and print out some uh, message perfect so now i have this message state attribute and this can be printed here so let's see if it works you see now i can control this widgets and it is completely visible but here you can see this ugly message uh, variable which is not parsed for just a fraction of seconds so um, if you get this kind of things we can add an attribute and this can be like v clock and this will be removed uh, as soon as the view instance uh, instance is mounted so this attribute using this attribute what it can do is we can say uh, that v clock and we can actually make a style here and say v clock uh, display we can say oh, wait a minute. sorry I just messed it up we can say display none so it will be removed uh, until the view is mounted let's check it out you see now the message variable has gone now I will show you something more interesting here okay so if you do it this way mm, let's see and then if you do a uh, before attribute here before and if we say okay what is our content content can be loading so we will see a loading message um, okay I'm not sure I should uh, see a loading here but anyways, so you get the idea how you can control the few things here using just Vue.js, okay? Now, uh, is this how we use before? I'm not sure. So anyways, I will uh, provide you this code, little code at the, uh, at the video description. So never mind for this. And let's go ahead and uh, do some more view stuff, uh, view, uh, view just things, okay? Here we can have a button. Let's say a button and with a click. Um, let's say change the message, okay? And we write change message. So here what you can do is you can add more methods here. So you can say this thought message equal. Okay, 
it's uh, message change is working whatever let's check it out see it's changing so it's completely reactive and you get uh, almost all kind of features just like um, in a simple uh, uh, second so let's go ahead and add some more stuff so if you were curious about how you can make um, HTTP request one of the important things uh, for this whole uh, whole thing so if you make some let's say if you are adding a um, form here definitely you can use V model and all the things that V provides and if you want to make a HTTP request then you can uh, also use this Axios module and similarly how you imported the uh, Bridges, you can also input the uh, CDN for the Axios, okay? So let's go ahead and add this one here and let's see in the documentation. Now let's see if we have Axios. So we have Axios available right now. Just on um, placeholder API, fake online API. So let's call some fake API. Okay, this is uh, this can be one thing. Okay, we have some data here. So let's call using a get method. Uh, Access dot get. We can use this thing. So here, let's say it's an async function, and we don't change here anything here. And let's say you just do this way: constant res equal element access dot get user. So let uh, call this API endpoint. Now you can see this dot status equal got downloaded, and then what you can do is. You can do console.log rest to data. Okay. And here we can see if error. I can simply print the rest. Let's let's go ahead and check it out, okay? Here you go. We are now calling a uh, uh, server different APIs okay that's really super cool right it says title so what you can do is we can update this message with the uh, data title so this dot message equal this dot data dot title okay perfect right it's very simple very very simple you see very simple Awesome, right? So I think uh, you guys can now be able to use Vue.js uh, in any any of your project. It's it's not just like a big framework. You can use anywhere, um, anytime you want, and you can instantiate a lot of Vue instance as much as you can with uh, different app IDs. So if you want to uh, control another section or another page, you can uh, include the ID differently. Okay, so we can have multiple view instance uh, instances, and it's really simple. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment your valuable feedback. Have a nice time.